In this video, I'm showing you the four best ways to stop your threads from fraying. Here we've got red satin nylon cord, paracord, cotton and waxed cotton. It really helps if you know what material your threads are made of. So these first two here, this is the satin nylon and then the blue is paracord. So satin, nylon, polyester, they're all plastic based. And then we've got these two here, which are both natural based. So this is just plain cotton. It's not waxed at all. This one here is a waxed cotton. You can see it's got sort of a shiny texture. All of these will fray if you don't secure and finish the ends of them. So I use four different options to stop my threads from fraying. Depending on what your design is, you would choose which one you use. So first up, tying a stopper knot on the end of your thread is a really good option. You can use some fancy knot, but even a simple overhand knot is fine, and that will completely stop your thread from fraying on the end. Second option is melting or singeing the end. So if your thread is plastic based, then melting it probably is the best option for a nice, tidy, clean edge. You want to cut the ends with some nice sharp scissors and then just go ahead and melt the end gently. You can tap it against the edge or push on it with some scissors to fuse it all together. I find the satin nylon cord melts really well as well. Just be really careful not to burn yourself on the flame or the thread. Now moving on to more natural fibres like hemp and cotton. They don't really melt so you can't singe your ends like you can with plastic based threads. So tying a knot works well or I use beeswax or glue on the ends. So this thread here I've got is just plain cotton twine. And I've got a block of 100% pure beeswax here which I just bought at the hardware store. And I just hold it between my thumb and the beeswax and pull it through, creating some friction. And that heats the beeswax up a little bit so it can spread through the twine. You can also pop the end of your twine into some melted candle wax. And that also helps to keep the ends of your thread together. Now the fourth option I'll show you on this waxed cotton twine. So you want to cut the frayed part of thread off. You can cut it on a slight angle on the end if it's a very thick cord. Now for this method to secure the end, we place glue on the end of the thread. And I'm using some cling wrap thin plastic. Placing some of the glue on and also onto the end of the thread. Making sure there's a fair bit going into that end part. I'm using Hypo Cement Jewelry Glue. I have heard of others using super glue or hot glue even. The glue method is really good at holding all those ends secure so they stay nice and tight and don't fray. Now I just bring the plastic around the end of my twine and just sort of work it between my fingers making sure that that glue gets right through the thread and that the end is pinched nice and tight so that the glue is gonna set secure. Once that glue dries, your thread should be really nice and secure. So there's our four simple methods for stopping threads from fraying. We've got tying a knot on the end, melting the end, using some beeswax or using glue.